and welcome back folks to yet another exciting episode of Fallout 3. We are back in Ward 87 or 87 I suppose. We are here to try and get a gek. Uh, last time we fought our way through Murder Pass and opened a secondary entrance as well. Now it's time to actually enter the vault proper. We already encountered some red roaches and in Murder Pass there were a bunch of super mutants. Did you hear all that? Did you catch all that? They just explained how they create no, new super mutants. They they capture people or they wait for them to come to them. And they put them in green stuff and then they turn into soldiers. What the hell? They can create new super mutants like that? I think it's time to take these out. Turn around, please. Wow, he, he fell for it. You'd think he would be more surprised that his body just turned into a pile of ash, but okay. Oh. Wow, can't quite believe it. Well, that, that sheds some light on, on how super mutants come about and also why they are capturing people, obviously. Red, Shorty, and the other folks from Big Town that they kidnapped. Also that they could turn them into other super mutants. I did say something about having to put people into the cave. I think that means that when the transformation doesn't work, when, when, the, when the people die. That's when they drop them in the cave. That's what I'm guessing that means. So basically when they when the process fails, they they die. Well, that that explains all the abductions, but it doesn't explain why they are doing all this. And also doesn't explain what the green stuff actually is that they use. I mean, what the hell is that stuff? Um Maybe we'll learn more about that as we progress through this vault, but my interest is peaked now. I want to know more about these super mutant creatures. I mean, I, I, it's obvious what they want to do, like, in general. They want to capture more people and kill the other people. Overload. Wow, that was easy. They, they want to capture more people and uh, turn more people or kill them. Well, I guess if they want, once they have enough soldiers, they want to just, you know, overrun everybody and kill everybody else. But what is the actual agenda? I mean, build an army, sure, but for what? 
what is their plan? Is it just to dominate or is there some some higher plan behind that? Besides just dominating everybody else. They don't seem too smart. So I guess just wanting to dominate might be all they're up to, but... Whoa. Ah, crud. Ah, he dropped his gun. Again. Wow, that was good. That was really good. Can't quite believe it. Oh, there's another one coming, eh? No. Turn off that light. <sighs> okay. So, domination is their goal. But why? Do they just want to dominate on their own? Or do they have somebody guiding them? Or something guiding them? Is there some higher purpose to their domination? And to their conflict with everybody really that's what I'm wondering I just noticed I haven't seen any gall bags yet have I yeah I mean, it's not a nice oh hold on there's gall bags okay never mind should I shouldn't say anything really oh, come on stay there yes that's good that's very good nice a master in one salvo. Can't complain about that, can you? It's a very powerful weapon. And since sneak criticals, well, pretty much guaranteed as long as you are hidden. That's a pretty powerful weapon to be sneaky with. Remember that each individual beam will cause a critical then. Well, that's some massive damage there. Alright. Aha, uh -huh. we can go higher up. I don't think we want to do that just yet. Need to keep my flanks cleared. Oh god, there's somebody. Uh, it's probably above us. I don't think he really saw us. He just saw something glowing, you know, our pip boy light. But, uh, that super mutant has no clue what's actually going on, which is good. Stand back. Lots of supplies everywhere. I don't think I, I'm in so much trouble that I need to turn off the light. I would prefer to leave it on, despite having to sneak. I know that makes it more difficult to sneak, but still, I it, it would make it easier to loot at least, and that is after all what I'm here for. I know I'm actually here to loot a gek, but come on, the principle is the same, right? Looting. Okay, anything else? Nope, not really. Right. Oh, is that another one? No, that's that's the that's the projector. I was confused there for a moment. Oh, okay. It's kind of gruesome looking. Additionally, it looks like a dead end, really, which I do not mind one bit. It means less stuff to explore. It means. Faster progress. Alright. Hold on, I missed that. Okay. Now, where else can we go? Probably just upstairs. Unless I missed something. Let's quickly head back down. Is there any other way I could have gone instead? No, I'm pretty sure there isn't. Check the map there. Reactor chamber. Test labs. Uh, I guess that's where I'm going next. Yeah. Okay, let's head upstairs then. Test lab. So it sounds like Vault 87 was also some sort of scientific experiment. Oh, yes. 
think he heard me. That's okay. Be right next to him in a moment. Oh, there he comes. Oh no, it's another overlord. Dropped his gun though. Ah, it's another one of those. Whew. Still making them drop their drop their gun is surprisingly easy with this metal blaster. Can I use the tri-beam rifle to repair the metal blaster with a wonder? No, I cannot. Yeah. The other hand, I mean, the, the tri-beam laser rifle is rare enough that I would prefer to keep it. Anyway. Uh, some water. That wouldn't hurt right now. Not in a bad shape right now, but I would prefer to top off my health while I have the opportunity. Who knows what else we'll have to contend with. Although, considering how um, how easy I get rid of at least individual overlords right now, I don't th think we're having too many problems at the moment. That skeleton has some issues though. Okay, mm-hmm. Nothing much of interest there. Oh, a very hard door. Let's try to break it. Well, I know al almost where the right one is. There we go. Huh. Where the hell are we now? What is this place, I wonder? What exactly did that do? Isn't this just a, like a shortcut? Okay. Yeah, it's just a shortcut, nothing more. That was useful. Uh oh. Now we have some problems, because that attracts more enemies. Well, I guess just the two. Alright, we are okay. I was worried there for a moment. If there had been, uh, like, a couple of overlords around the corner or something like that, things could have gotten ugly really quickly. And that's saying something when we are right next to a gore bag. In terms of ugly and whatnot. Well, let's loot them. Right. This page is pretty difficult and pretty huge. Right, um, okay, we did check out that bathroom, but there's another bathroom right here. Oh, more water, please. Thank you. Did get hit a little bit. Not too badly, though. Uh -huh, another empty toilet. Fine by me. And the barricade. We cannot get past. Okay. Good enough. Upstairs I don't want to go just yet, but we can check out this room. Not a crackable lock. Ooh, some sort of supply closet or something. Uh, it looks like it was like it wasn't open s since uh, since the uh, super mutants moved in. And look at it, it looks actually Really well sorted and all that. It's also kind of barren though. Rec recon armor is nice though. As is a quantum. Oh, look at the glow. Nice quantum there. Laser rifle. And of course, the pugilism illustrated. I think that's like the fourth skill book or something that we found since we uh, went on this trip. Yeah, that's a lot of skill books, really. Let's read it. Again, I don't think we really need it, but every little bit helps. There we go. And uh, now let's go this way. Whoa! Ah, crud. That actually shocked me there for a second. I, I, I didn't see that guy on my, on my compass. I don't know what happened there. Oh. Caution. Ah, it's a, another overlord. No, 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 no. Don't shoot there. 
Don't you dare use your... No, that's two overlords. That's too much. That's too friggin' much. Um, two overlords and both of them with the friggin' super, super gun of theirs. Um, medics and some psycho, please. I don't care. One of you die, please. Or drop your gun at least. Ah, for f No, don't stand still. Whoa, one of them is dead. Both of them are dead. Oh, oh man. <sighs> Thank you. That was really dangerous right there. I mean, come on, these guys with their weapons, that's... They could have torn me apart in seconds. Hell, in, in 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 fractions of a second. Okay, tough, very tough. Two of them at the same time. I wish one of them had just had a like a super sledge or something. That would have been easier to deal with. But whatever, we we made it. We made it fine. So, engineering section. Okay, let's check that out. Serv oh, that's a lot of service issues. Okay, water dispensers, bit too much chemical rebalancer solution, a buildup of alkalines, taste should return to normal in four days, okay. Number three, reactor spikes, power outages, for five weeks, periodic interruptions to the power grid, huh, for several minutes even. Uh, da, 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 da. My fear was that the reactor was having a major malfunction, but there is a power draw that the experimental section is creating. Huh. Whatever they are using in there is way over the limit for acceptable power consumption. A backup reactor kick in when needed. I don't like to do this, but I have no choice. Okay, something they are doing in the testing labs then. Maintenance. Hmm. Gag chamber radiation purging offline. That's a problem, probably. Vortex crappy handiwork at it again. Radiation purge system that vents excess radiation from the gog gog chamber? Gag chamber, what the hell? No idea why the system keeps failing. Inadequate and can't handle the amount of radiation it's purging. Well, this gag must be highly radioactive. Soon as I can get one cobbled together from spare parts, should have it ready in about a month. Okay. That's the one. Five. Pudding miscolor. Okay. Tapioca pudding. Odd bright orange color. Uh huh. It's proper hue. Wish all my fixes were this easy. I have no idea what the proper color of tapioca pudding is, but okay. Number six. Cha EEP chamber failure. Wow. Overseer's office. Dr. Merrick, who heads up the experimentation section, informed me one of his devices was something or other. It was a strange device, but I managed to... I don't know, which didn't fix the problem. I then tried to do something else, which seemed to bring the device back online. Okay, no clue what that is about. EEP. I wonder what EEP means. That, that there. Huh. Okay, then the last one. Need help. What? In the event that anyone reads this, please try and get work back to Vortec HQ. Very wrong in the experimentation section. My wife, Mercia, was diagnosed as having some sort of disease they wouldn't identify. She's dead now. Those sons of bitches won't even tell me why. Many are dead or missing. Checking this with medical records gets me nowhere. It's getting out of hand. It's time to deal with this my way. They took my wife from me. Now I'll take their lives away if I don't get some answers. Fitting some extra help in my safe. Accessing this message will unlock it. If I don't come back, grab that stuff and save yourself. Man. That's... Wow. 
He's stocked up. I think I I have an inkling of what's what was going on here. It's probably not a coincidence that there are so many super mutants in here. No coincidence at all. We'll have to check out that experimentation section at those test labs to learn more. But this does not bode well. Also, I'm getting a lot of junk again. Right. I think that leaves only one path to go, which is up, up that stairway there. Right. Already checked that. Oh. Something there. Ah, it's another one. Freaking overlords, man. Ah, that hurt. I gotta consume something. What do we have? Well, we have some ant meat, some blood, some water. Yeah, sure. Eat it all. Just chomp down, man. Just eat it. Alright. But this time it's just one. Come on, drop the weapon. Yes, thank you. Now die. Quickly, man. Don't have all day. Right. Phew. He was about to get ready to fire again. Got a full salvo earlier, man. This really hurts like hell. Alright. But that's another Overlord dealt with, so we are making some significant progress here right Ooh. okay that's another one isn't it in there can't help but notice those handprints by the way yeah he saw the light but he didn't see me I think I crippled his arm there Whoa, 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 No, 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 no. You don't... You don't get to do that. Way too close, man. <sighs> Freaking weirdo, man. Did you see that? That almost killed me. But at least... It, I, I mean, I, I mean, I have to really be happy that... That these two overlords were not, like, sticking together. That would have been gruesome. Okay. Medical records. Well, maybe this will shed some light on, on what happened to the people here. Hmm. Confusing. Carriage. Carriage is completely wrong. Carriage. Yeah, that would work. Okay. Unlock medical safe. Sure. Everybody must read. Marked as deceased by the special EEP section will be tagged and coded in the computer as an unexplained or undefined death directly from the overseer. Wow. Who will be personally inspecting your reports to make sure they are accurate. Please refrain from sending inquiries or clarification requests to this office or the EEP chief physician. Sounds like they, they killed a lot of their test sub subjects in that section. Deceased listing. Total disease 93. Natural okay, ni natural death are four. Accidental two. Unexplained or undefined 87. Kind of a an odd coincidence, isn't it? Okay, so we have all of these. This one died accidentally. Naturally. Unexplained. Unexplained. Accident. Natural. All these people. All of them. Natural. Okay, natural, but almost all of them killed for whatever experiment that was. Wow. Okay, death code definitions. New revised definitions. Okay, please keep 
update all files to include these codes for faster handling. Note that criminal death suicides are never listed in these files as such. They must be listed under code A008 in accidental deaths. Okay, micro microbial, radioactive, toxic, allergic. I think one of them had an 004. Heart disease, cerebrovascular bronchitis, liver disease, cirrhosis, cancers. Two, two different types of cancers, okay. Unexpected organ failure, age. Accidental, massive radiation, toxin, electric shock, crushing, elevator, mishap. Drowning, mistaken weapons discharge, instant instant death syndrome. What the hell is that? And of course, undefined. Awful. All right. Wonder if we'll find any green stuff around here. Wouldn't surprise me. Because, see, folks, I think this is actually the vault where the experiments that led to the creation of these super mutants were taken. You know, here, the, here these experiments took place, I mean. And, uh, yeah. Oh, we got a spork. Gotta take that. Sporks are rare. Right. I think we're really close now to the secret behind the super mutants. And in fact, we're so close that why don't we end this episode here? And the next one, we'll actually go to the test labs and see if we can't solve the rest of the mysteries behind these super mutants. Or at least figure out some more about their past and where they are coming from. Well, this is another very grim vault, I would say. But it seems that most of them are, really. Well, alright folks, see you next time. Bye.